Dead Pet Removal, NJ. Dead Pet Removal Services near me. Yes, folks, if you are in that position right now, and I know up close where you are, first of all, I want to bring our deepest condolences from all of us here at Humane Animal Removal in the state of New Jersey. Folks, if I could say anything to you, it's, I pray that God give you peace right now as you are watching this video. Again, I know up close how much pain you must be going through with that beloved one that just passed. And I know it, for some of you, it might have just been moments away when this just happened. I've been doing this, folks, since 1995. I've been picking up deceased pets in the state of New Jersey and New York. And it came that time when my daughter, Nicole, called me up on the phone while I was out in the field. And this, at this point, she's older, 38 years old. I'm showing my age. And she was living on West 48th Street in Manhattan, New York City. At the time, I was in North Arlington. And my wildlife business was going strong. And my wife and I, Angela, thank God for that. And at that point in time, I must have picked up over, over 100 pets, cats, dogs, iguanas, snakes, you name it, hamsters, little children's hamsters, little baby raccoons, oh my goodness. You'd be amazed how many different pets people have in the plush garden state, Noah's Ark. <laughs> but in any event, it came that time. It was the a.m. It was the morning time, and I got a call from my daughter, Nicole, and she said, Dad, Cujo just passed, he's dead, and I don't know what to do. Please help me. Folks, dads, if you could resonate with that, I went into a truck. I was traumatized. traumatized. Uh, even saying it right now, telling you the true story, and my daughter was traumatized as well. And I hit the gas in my Silverado, my truck. My wife and I call her Midnight. She's black. And I was headed on Route 3 East to the Lincoln Tunnel. And I remember vividly going through the Lincoln Tunnel. And there was traffic, as you know, going into the city. Because it was the a.m. earlier than late morning when it slows up. Anyway, going through that tunnel, I just wanted to grow wings on that truck and just fly to my daughter's arms. And when I got there, she was profusely crying on the living room floor over our, our dog, Cujo. So I went over to her and embraced her as we both cried over our dog who had been with us for years. So I'm the dead pet guy, right? So I had to handle it and do the best one I ever did. And thanks be to God, I brought comfort to her. And I pray that God would use me now to bring comfort to you. And I'm going to tell you what I told her that day. Please listen. It is not just a story, but it's a real story. Because God creates everything. God created you. He created the cat, the kitty, the dog, the puppy. God created everything. The Lord God 
created even the deaf, the blind, the dumb, the lame, the smart, the intelligent, the genius, the beautiful, the ugly. God is the creator of everything. And in the days of Noah, B.C., before Christ, before our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ came to this world, 100% God, 100% man who walked the shores of this earth to die on the cross for sinners. And he did accomplish that. Glory be to God. He died on the cross for our sins. He was buried and he rose on the third day in fulfillment of the scriptures. But in the days of Noah, that world was so evil, so wicked, that God brought a flood upon the world of the ungodly. If you can imagine 2024, I don't know if it was more evil or more wicked than now. And you know that up close as well as I, especially here in New Jersey, outside of New York City. But folks, in those days, it hadn't rained yet. In the days of Noah, there was a mist in the air, kind of like if you've ever, any one of you ever been to a greenhouse where plants and vegetation is raised and nurtured. And there is a mist in the air. So it was in the days of Noah. There was a greenhouse mist across the world. And God told Noah to build an ark because it was, it was going to begin to rain soon. And in that rain, God would pour out a flood and the world would come to an end. And sure enough, it did. But as he was building that ark, for 120 years he built that ark. They called him a fool. But he brought on animals of every kind. And he communicated very well with those animals. And he spoke to those animals. Just as I am speaking to you right now. You've spoken. You've communicated, some of you, to your precious loved one when he or she was here. I know you did. And that beautiful, beautiful creature spoke back to you in its own way. And sometimes it would even try to speak through its vocal cords to you. I know that because animals have tried and have spoken to me. It's a beautiful thing to communicate with them. And I know how deeply in love you fell for that wonderful, beautiful creature. God gave the rainbow and promised that it would not end in the flood this time, the world, but in fire. And that will come when our Lord comes at his second coming to this world. There'll be a heaven and there'll be a hell. But God is going to reverse the curse, my friends. And he's going to bring back that precious Charlie, Bella, Andy, Willow, Daisy, Charlie, Frankie, Willow, all of those beautiful pets that have passed. You'll see them again if you have assurance of your faith that you believe that there is no other name under heaven than man can be saved other than the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. So have comfort today. It's good to mourn. Actually, mourning is healthy, but over mourning, try to shake it off 
as the days go by, if you see yourself getting too much into depression because of this. Get enough rest. Eat. And try to eat, although you may not feel like it. And try to stay around the family, loved ones. Unless there's a time of prayer for you. But God knows your heart. And the Lord giveth. And the Lord taketh away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. So I told my daughter this story. And it brought comfort to her. And I also told her this. That God knows your heart. Like my daughter's heart. And perhaps one day he'll bring you one that's even better than. And when I told her that, she said, No, Dad, there'll never be another Cujo. And I says, I know that. But God works in mysterious ways sometimes. Sometimes when he takes something away, it's only to give you something back better. So have some hope. Have some encouragement today that God's not done with you yet. Although that precious, precious, precious beloved one has now passed, God has still given you a future and a hope. So I am not only the one that usually goes out and picks up the deceased pets, but if I cannot, I'll have a technician who'll do that or both of us will come. And um, I've been doing this a long time, folks. But God leveled me up because it happened to me and I know the emotional pain that it could bring to you. But be comforted. Let peace come into you even now. And let my words fall on fertile ground. Because, again, I believe God has a beautiful future for you concerning that precious loved one. Please give us a call for Northern Jersey. Our phone number is 862 658 2086 for Central Jersey and the Jersey Shore. That number is 732-600-1974. And be sure to see us over on Facebook, too, for the reviews that we have. And also, folks, I do segments for CBS News Inside Edition. And I'll leave a link in the description for that. And please, again, just try not to be too overwhelmed with this. Like Dr. Pink said, shake off melancholy if it's too much. And also please like, subscribe, uh, leave any comments, any questions. We answer all comments. And if someone else answers the phone, ask for Paul. And with this video, we'll give you $50 off any deceased pet removal service. Thank you very much for your time. Have a good evening and God's peace be with you. Shalom.